Hey guys, Gaurav again. Okay, so yesterday we started uh, talking about Logic Pro X. Um, I'm back again with the software because I want to show you something new. I want to show you and this time uh, I'm going to show you some very cool features which were not there before. So the first thing you see as my mouse points here is there's a new uh, tab here in the channel. The channel strip is a tab called Media Effects. This uh, is This has been present in other programs like in Logic is the first time uh, that it's getting this. Anyway, uh, before I show you this, I'm going to show you the synthesizer, which is a new synth in this. This is called the Retro Synth. So once we open it, it's really cool. It's got four types of synthesis. It's got analog, regular, the Moog kind of synthesis. Then it's got Sync. Sync is similar to oscillator synthesis, but more on the lines of uh, you know other synthesizers like the Prophet and stuff. Then the stable, which is wavetable, kind of taken from the PPG synthesizer, again from the 80s, and then FM. Very clearly, the DX series, DX7, etc. You can see, and just uh, FM8 aata hai by uh, Native Instruments. Anyway, so you can see the kind of different sounds. Anyway, the same sound, which is approximated. Of course, there are presets, which is a fayda leti hai, ya hai. So I'm basically on this. So I must say it's a very rich sounding synthesizer. Again, um, very cool things. Let me show you one of the MIDI effects here, which is called uh, the note repeater. So yes, it can repeat notes, but you can also transpose the sound. So I'm transposing to five, okay. And it's gonna create some really crazy effects, increasing the repeats to quite a bit. And then see, if I hit one note, what happens? Beautiful, awesome. So again, uh, I can make or change the resolution to one to Okay, anyway, so you see that's so so cool. Um, this is really, really unique. Okay, then I'm going to show you another thing uh, which is very interesting, the chord trigger. I think everybody's going to be really, really happy with this. Um, so it's my single and multi-mode. So single basically means that you can assign one type of chord. So I'm taking the top keyboard, uh, just may, I'm assigning the C2 note and the C2 should actually automatically play these notes. So cool. I've taught it a series of notes. Now every time I hit a key, it's going to play the same chord. I'm hitting a single key. I'm not hitting a whole chord as you can see from the keyboard. The blue keyboard denotes what I'm playing actually on my MIDI keyboard. When I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, blue keyboard and the final result is basically orange is dark orange keyboard. Pe so uh, there was a tutorial which I was doing before, like I was showing you chords. This is going to make it even easier. And I promise to post a lot of chord sets which I will develop um, for you guys, which will be very easy for you to use in your songs. So you don't have to worry about harmonization so much. And this MIDI, hai, so it actually can apply to anything. So if I change the sound here, it's going to apply to the other sounds too. This is a mono sound, I guess. Let me apply it to a polyphonic sound so that you can understand better. So same thing, if I uh, clear this MIDI from here, this is not going to happen. So if I mute this, single notes, so really cool chords. So if you don't know how to play chords, no worries. Uh, again, it's my templates, so hey, you can always see from here, it's got various templates. Uh, even blues chords and stuff, guitar voicings, me as me, you know, there's some jazz and blues chords which will be really interesting. So you can play around with these kind of things. They're parallel chords like sevenths, triads, and other kind of things. And there's simple things like extended harmonies, where pura actually somebody's programmed an entire chord pattern thing. So what I'm going to do is an interesting thing. I'm going to use this to make chords which go mostly with maybe Bhangra music and uh, Punjabi music and, and folk music and stuff because that's something which has not been programmed. There's no preset So I'm go I promise you that I'm going to give you a free preset with that um, And I hope you can make use of it and actually program your song. So today actually <laughs> You don't really know, need to know how to play keyboards to harmonize your music. 
But of course, you need a strong gear. So this was just a small overview of this uh, synth and these plugins. There is another two new plugins actually, which exist. One is the EP, which is similar to your EVP88. So it's beautiful. It's very nice. It's got a lot of other presets. But I would say it's still on the same lines as the EVP88. So I don't think there's a change in the EVP88.